reduced to a mere six. Defenders rule! And those six are Matt, Ashley, Charlie, Wesley, Jacqueline, and Addison. These six will now face the challenge of escaping the stockade. That's right, these boys and girls were so naughty that we tossed them in the clink and to move on to round three, they need to escape. Attackers start off tied to the disorienting wheel of certain doom. Once freed, they have to grab those ladder rungs and build their ladders to escape. But look out, not all rungs fit all ladders. True enough, but build they must. Then up the ladders they go way up top to the annihilating arms to grab one of the four flags. And take it to the upper platform to finish. It's a free-for-all, a no-holds-barred scramble to survive. That's why I call this round the Tender Blender. There's nothing tender about it. Exactly, I'm being ironic. Okay. You keep working on that. Let's meet the three defenders for this round. We have the venomous Croc Ness. Taking the second spot is the treacherous Thorn. And rounding out the three is the chivalrous Nitrous. Bacana! I'm trying! The attackers are strapped in for the ride, and things are about to get messy. So let's check in to see who's who. There's Matt in blue, Wesley is back in black, Ashley is loving the lavender, Jackie is also in blue, Addison is easy being green, and Charlie has joined the Navy. And here comes the fiendish foam, courtesy of Nitrous. Nitrous makes a turntable extra slippery today. <laughs> hey, I'll handle the puns here, okay? All right, all right, all right. And we're off. Charlie makes a quick break off the wheel. And Charlie is running over and has got his first rung in place. I will. It's time for you to shower off a bit. Oh, laser precision from Thorn with the water cannon. <laughs> That's not water, my friend. Nitrous, dousing them relentlessly with funky foam. And racking up the splats like crazy. Instant mayhem, six part attackers and one part foam. I can't see who's in the lead. The defenders are, case in point. Crocness has something for you. Croc is all over that. Oh, blindsided with that one. Intense. Hey, you're on the turntable. I've got a present with your name in it right here. Oh, score one for Thorn. Hey, Addison, don't forget to send a thank you card for that present. Oh, what's this? Looks like Matt is getting a little cheeky with Thorn. These guys are making me angry. Oh, and he lashes out with a full bucket of crocky swamp juice. Yes, me, yes, me. Now you got it. Splat you. It's the next part of that. Splat. Oh. Not as easy as it seems, is it? Whoa. Oh. Hello there. And Jackie gets juice and Wetly gets wetter. But he is placing his final rung and he's way out in front. Well, Crocky Swamp Juice is the great equalizer. Wesley is first to snag a flag. Yes, he is. Oh, and gets an annihilating arm in the head for his trouble. Wesley now climbing up his ladder. But Croc, Ness, and Thorn aren't letting up on the juices. Hey, Defender, stop it. He's up top. Did you forget the name of the show? I say Juice Wetly Good. Three flags remain. It's a sudsy scramble to see who will be next and secure a spot in round three as Addison has got his hands on the second flag. Seems like I've got to motivate you some more. Come on! You think you'd given up already? Addison is at the top with flag number two. <laughs> you said number two. What are you, five years old? What are you, 50? Things are really rolling now. Flag three is in the hands of Matt. Oh, and Ashley gets strong arm. Down she goes. Matt has the flag in his mouth, looking like he can taste victory. Looks like your face needs a bit of a clean, mate. I can see you. Whoa! There he is. Matt is through with the third flag. That leaves just one flag left. And only one more spot in round three. Who is it going to be? Jackie continues to build her ladder. The three remaining attackers are working, and Charlie is scoping the situation out and has managed to grab the final flag and is making his way back to his ladder. Charlie has done it. That's it. 
And we have our final four attackers in place. Enjoy it while it lasts. I say the best and worst is yet to come. Well, the girls are shut out this time with Ashley and Jackie headed home, but going on to try to capture the crown, we've got Addison, Matt, Charlie, and Wetley. Wesley really seemed to dominate in that round, being the first one out with a flag. Grabbing a flag and grabbing a crown are completely different things, my friend. True enough, with the right combination of balance, speed, and skill, anyone could capture the crown. Coming up, one of our four remaining attackers gets Gildar grumpy. What are we doing? Just giving away crowns? We're now back for the final round right here in the kingdom of splat -a -Lot. It seems like only 20 minutes ago we had 12 eager attackers who thought they had the stuff to tackle this course. And now only four remain. Addison, Matt, Charlie, and Wetley, while the other eight are feasting on soggy pretzels and flat soda. Is that a metaphor? No, those are just the snacks in the attacker's lounge. Okay then. Well, these final four are now in for the fight of their lives as they face off against each other in a full-out sprint for the crown. They're going to encounter some awful obstacles, but most importantly, all six defenders are joining forces to take down four attackers. Let's get down to the course. They start on the pole drop into the funky foam, onto the titanic teeter-totters, over the barrier ball barriers, across the bouncy boys, and then up the water wall to capture the crown. Not if the defenders have anything to say about it. Attackers are set. We've got Matt to the far left of your screen, then Addison, Wesley, and Charlie on the outside right. Defenders are go! Defense! 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 Defense. Attackers are away! <laughs> Defenders aren't wasting any time getting right to the slime. Time for a shower! <laughs> Isn't that nice a coop to wash off all that slime? Oh, yeah, real nice. And Matt has taken the lead by being the first in the water. Wesley now making his way across. I do love the fog of war. <laughs> Wesley makes a terrific leap onto the boys. You know, he's like a leopard, a jaguar, and a cougar all rolled into one. You forgot orangutan. <laughs> Matt and Charlie are not having much luck on the other side of the barrier. Back to Croc Ness and the slime stick. And that starts up the water wall. Oh. Hand down. Matt's teeter is like a bucking bronco. They're getting away. The crowd! The crowd! They're getting the crowd! I don't see you doing anything about it. I am working on it. I'm sensing a little tension there, Matt. Just a little healthy competition between alpha males. I have to do everything myself around here. And alpha females. That's how it's done. Charlie and Matt are trying to make a move, but Wesley is clearly in front. Oh, one step forward and two splats back. Wesley is scaling the water wall, ladies and gentlemen. This could be it. They're everywhere! Wesley's ah. reaching for it, and he has made it and captured the crown. Wesley is our champion. What are we doing? Just giving away crowns? I might as well go up there, get the crown, and hand it to them myself! The defenders are losing their minds down there. He calls that a happy dance. Oh, what? This is a happy dance. Um, yeah, so Kook seems to be coming undone a little. Why is he dancing? Because there's three losers, obviously. He's expressing himself the only way he knows how, through the passion of dance. Yet another stupendous spectacle right here in the kingdom of splat -a -Lot. Against overwhelming odds, Wesley stepped up to beat out 11 other attackers and capture the crown. My take is that the defenders played the numbers and kept 91.667% of the attackers from capturing the crown. A win any way you cut it. Right. And that brings us to the splat of the day. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of today's honorable mentions. There were tumbles, drops, whooshes, juicing, leaps, lunges, and victories. During his victory dance, Matt got a little carried away with his choreography. Oh, Matt, he wanted to destroy Splat a lot, but all he ended up destroying was his tailbone. Nothing a tensor bandage and an ice pack can't fix. Yeah, there were bruises today, but mostly to the attacker's egos. Except for one. There's Bertie Potatoes! 
Wesley was able to weather the storm in round one, splat his way to victory in round two, and leap through round three on his way to capturing the crown. Yeah! Well, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Jason Agnew. And I'm Matt Chin saying 